Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors for Extreme Legends, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, for this episode, I'm going to be doing Zhang Liao of Wei, and I'll be with Wei for like a couple more episodes after that too. In 215 AD, a Fei castle received word that a Wu invasion force under Sun Quan had crossed the Changjiang and was fast approaching its position. Placed in charge of Hefei's defense was Wei General Zhang Liao. Hefei's castle defense force was vastly outnumbered by the Wu invasion force, but that did not stop Zhang Liao from striking out of the castle. Despite the objections of the other officers, Zhang Liao was determined to follow the orders of his lord Cao Cao, and the Wei force Wei troops would rally around him. Zhang Liao's plan was to perform precision attacks against the Wu forces and force them to retreat. The difference in numbers would be compensated by morale. To defend Hefei Castle, Zhang Liao now rides out into legend. And there are no restrictions, but this is a pretty tough mission if you're not fast. Morale is very important in this mission, trust me on this one. Okay, so for this I get the Celestial Wyvern, the Wyvern of the Cosmos, yeah that's pretty gaudy. It's a level 17 Dragon Amulet, level 11 Wong's Bow, level 18 Horned Helm, and level 20 Elixir. Sounds like a pretty awesome setup, so I'm gonna go with this kind of setup right here. You know what, let me replace the Wind Scroll because it may not be that valuable to me. I'm actually going to replace it with the War Drum, because like I said, morale is very important. The lower your morale, the more easy it is for Yue Jin, who's on the other side of Hafei Castle, to be defeated. Basically, if Sun Xuan does defeat Yue Jin in Hafei Castle, the castle's taken, you lose. So you gotta defeat all the Wu officers that show up. There's two of them available to you, the others will show up shortly. So, let's begin. Our forces may be outnumbered, but... Our resourcefulness and spirit shall bring us victory! Be warned, you now face Xiang Liao! I shall rally our troops to strike deep into the enemy. Let us go! Now is the time to display your power! Okay, what I mean about morale being very important is that you need that for your other officers to survive. So the best way to boost morale is get kills. Every 50 kills will boost Yue Jin's morale. So it's always a good idea to stick around, kill as many soldiers as you can. And every time you kill an officer, Lee Dian will get morale boosted. Okay, so I gotta protect like the uh, gate captains over here, or the guard captains. There's usually like uh, two or three around the fake castle's gates. Yeah, there's three. So it'll be a good idea to make sure that they're safe for a bit before I go for the next officer. Now I think I'll do fun with 69 kills. Okay, 70 now. Okay, Shusheng should be over there to the east. Soon Ganning will be over to the east as well. Trust me, this one took several tries to get the weapon because you have to defeat the officers. You have to make sure that you don't lose all the guard captains from the castle. And you have to get like 300 or 350 KOs? That's a very tall order. Periodically, Sun Quan will rally his troops to crush him in one blow, which causes his morale to go up. So there's little quips you have to watch out for. Okay, I figured I'd seal that. Oh, Ganning's here already. Good. You're all going down. You say that, but really, it's just gonna be you going down. Oh, there he went. Stop blocking. Oh, one of my uh, bodyguards got him. Good. 
I don't really need the weapon experience anyway. We can't fall behind. Well done. We're right behind you. Okay, so eventually Lu Meng will show up on the west. Forward. We shall be the ones to take the Press in. We shall crush them in one blow. Luckily I do have that war drum, it's really helping my cause. Okay, sometimes you can just like go straight for Lumong, or you can just wait by the gates and have him come to you. I prefer just to go to him. No, you will not. Okay, as expected, it's going pretty well. I mean, I do have a very powerful weapon after all, and I can freeze my enemies if need be. Okay, I just gotta keep this up. I mean, I'm still hanging in there, Lumong is. Oh, good. Everybody, go after him. Oh, I push him out of bounds. Yes, yeah, so these strongholds now don't take very long to restore. I don't need to target you. Now Hefei Castle is under a heavy attack. Oh good, Lumon got beaten. Better head back to the gates. Wait for Joe Tai to show up. I didn't get that KO on Lumong. It's probably somebody else that did. So that's two straight officers I didn't get the last blow on myself. Uh, the enemies are still pouring out of the woodwork. I mean, look at them. There's like large groups. And a large number of large groups coming at us. Eventually, Joe Tai will appear to the southwest. So I gotta keep myself busy waiting for him. When he shows up, your strongholds are gonna be sealed. It's not a long mission, like it's 15 minutes. But you won't be needing all that time. Where is he anyway? Wait a minute, Lu Mong is not even beaten yet? Oh, that would explain why I didn't see any uh, indicators that he was defeated. He was still alive this whole time. Well, I'm an idiot. I just let him stew there for so long. I wonder Joe Tai was late. Let's go. All right, so I'm gonna take out Joe Tai. Trying to take out my strongholds. He'll probably the take them strong. out by the time I get there. Uh, oh well. Got this in the bag pretty much, as expected. All right, so once I defeat Joe Tai, this stage is over. Nope, don't even think about it. All that damage and still only did like half. All right, I'm gonna set you guys under attack mode. So get your legs in if you need to. Of course, he's in hyper mode because he's the boss, pretty much. I don't think he shows up if any way off or Wu officers are still alive. And that's all you need to do to finish the stage. Like an endless onslaught of Wu forces, but once you defeat the officers, they gotta run away. That took me like over almost seven minutes to finish that mission. And there you go, that's all there is to it. We got a pretty good score.
Alright, so enjoy the ending. Wei Officer, born in Ma Yi in the Yanmen region. A skilled warrior and loyal officer who initially seemed cursed to serve under undeserving lords. When Lu Bu lost to Cao Cao, he was captured and nearly executed when Guan Yu intervened. Cao Cao decided to invite Zhang Liao into his service instead. Zhang Liao finally knew he had found his rightful place and repaid his new lord's trust by excelling on the battlefield. In 215 AD, Cao Cao led a large force into Han Zhang and left Zhang Liao to defend Hefei Castle in his absence. It was not long before Wu dispatched a large invasion force. Despite the objections of the other officers, Zhang Liao followed Cao Cao's instructions and struck out. Though heavily outnumbered, Zhang Liao rallied his troops and drove the Wu army back. Zhang Liao would continue his role as guardian of Hefei, and soon everyone in Wu knew and feared him. Children fell quiet to the mere mention of his name. Cao Cao's successor, Cao Pi, treated Zhang Liao with great respect, and took good care of him when he fell ill. Despite his illness, Zhang Liao was still feared in Wu, and none dared to oppose him. Until Ding Fang of Wu killed him. That's, that's believed to have been happened. So anyways, I'll stop the video right here. Next episode, we're going to play it Cao Cao. Goodbye, everyone.